Wait, a restaurant that gives away three free books with every meal purchased. Right off Interstate 84 in Union, Connecticut is every hungry book lover's dream, the Traveler Restaurant. The original owner, Marty Doyle, is, surprise, an avid reader. His personal book collection was so vast in the 1980s that he started bringing books to his restaurant to try to thin the herd. Thus, the spirit of the restaurant was born. Purchase a meal and take home three free books of your choosing from the top floor of the building. The menu has a literary theme. I'm not sure that there's any connection between the menu items and their names, but no matter. It's simply a fun touch. I chose the Lonely Planet Burger with cheese and thoroughly enjoyed it. While you wait for your food, you can watch the plentiful birds at the feeders, peruse their merchandise, look at the many signed photographs of authors adorning the walls, and of course, start to decide which books you'd like to take home with you. The restaurant gives away thousands of books each week, and there are always new ones coming through the doors. The books are donated by libraries and community members, and the owners are always looking for book sales. There were a number of tantalizing boxes stacked up in the corner. I couldn't help but wonder what treasures they held. The restaurant also sells books. They have bags of themed books that are stuffed to the brim and wrapped books that are also known as blind dates where you pick a book by the description and have no idea what the book actually is until you get it home and unwrap it. They also have an entire basement filled with books for purchase. I have no idea how decisions are made about which books to have upstairs and which to have down, but it was really fun to look around downstairs. I don't think it's terribly obvious how narrow these pathways were, but it's tight and it's all for the sake of packing as many books as possible into the space. to really quickly show you what we ended up taking home with us. There were two of us, so we have six books total. When you're in the restaurant, there is no order to where the books are upstairs, the free books. And so you just kind of have to look around and see what you're going to find. There weren't many people there while we were there, but as people were taking books off the shelves and these holes would form, the servers would run over to those boxes that were up against the wall and just start refilling the shelves. What they have on their shelves is obviously constantly, constantly changing. Charles Dickens, Oliver Twist. Ernest Hemingway's The Old Man in the Sea. I feel like I got a two for one on this one. Edith Wharton's Ethan Frome and Summer. Fanny Flagg's Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. John Irving's A Prayer for Owen Meany. And finally, Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen and David Oliver Rellin. I hope that if you're in the area, you give it a look. You never know what you're going to find. I would definitely go again. I'm already kind of planning my trip for next fall because we will be up in that same area. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.